guys, welcome to 25 Days of Christmas here on Travel with Rick. We're here in the Magic Kingdom. I got my good friend Tony Casanova with me. Hey, Tony. Hey, Rick. How are you? I'm good, man. How are you? Hey, guys, Casanova. we're here in the Magic Kingdom and we're going to do our walkthrough of the Magic Kingdom. One of our favorite things to do for you during the 25 days. And Tony, speaking of favorite things, I love these soldiers. I do these too. toy soldiers are so, so cool. They're just awesome. Um, you have to see them things. come to life in the parade. Gosh, they're so cool. The way they stomp and make noise, bang the drums, play the the horns, trumpets. everything they do. Yeah, the trumpets, thank you. Um, but this is cool. I love the decorations when we first came in. Tell everybody what you pointed out, Tony. I didn't get that in the boughs the, at first. Uh, the, the boughs and the garland here have uh, fruit. And uh, we think the reason that it's fruit is back in that era of Main Street, they wouldn't have had glass ornaments or even plastic ornaments for that matter. They, decorated they fruit. probably would have decorated with uh, fruit. That's so cool. So everybody, everything here is not only themed for location, but also themed for period. It's so, so cool, you know, how they get the time period right here. Right. You know, and all these decorations around Main Street on the lamp poles, yep. the nutcrackers and, the, you know, the toy soldiers, all the poinsettias. But Tony, where's the tree? No tree. No There's tree. no tree until after they are done taping for the Christmas Day break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they've got to get all those great camera angles from up on uh, the, the second floor of um, the train station, you know, and everything there. And then this tree will go up, and we'll get you a picture of that later, you know. Maybe Andrew can just fly one in from last year. There you go. Now you're seeing it. That's awesome. <laughs> Um, really cool. So listen, we're going to take you around. This is just Main Street. Lots more to see around the Magic Kingdom. Tony, you want to go walk around? Sure. You guys want to go walk around? Come on, let's go. As we walk down Main Street, one of the coolest things I've noticed this year are the three windows for Mickey's Christmas Carol. You know, you've got Donald kind of shivering over there and shaking. That's pretty awesome. So those windows are so cool. And as you pass by them, um, you've got the wonderfully um, gala uh, period costumes that are on Mickey and Minnie both in those windows. Such beautifully decorated Christmas windows here on the Emporium in Main Street. So, so cool. Let's keep on going and see what else we find. Alright guys, we made it here down to the hub and it gets cooler, right Tony? It does get cooler. It does get cooler. Here is where all the magic lives, guys. This castle is so cool during the holidays because at night Oh, you wouldn't believe how it lights up. Well, if you've been watching 25 Days of Christmas, you know what I'm talking about because we let off with that. That was day one, man. That's where we started, showing you this beautiful Cinderella castle lit up at night for Cinderella's holiday wish. It's something to see, huh, Tony? 200,000 lights. 200,000 lights. Wow. It's incredible. And we noticed something cool about the decorations as we progress down Main Street. They change. We now have some ornaments and some bowls and some other uh, uh, pine cones and different things like that. Time moves on, right? Time moves on. Time and, moves on. Uh, the decorations change for every land, depending sure. on that land. Sure. And these poinsettia trees that we've talked about before with you particularly right. on other 25, on last year's 25 right. days of Christmas, these poinsettia trees are just awesome. They right? are. They're one of the nicest things. There's a couple out front, but these are right here at the hub are uh, some of the nicest. Yeah. I love the hub. I love looking back down through Main Street too at the ice cream parlor, the huge wreath around that, all the trimming on all the stores and everything. There's a bee flying around Andrew. Let's see if he makes it. There it goes. Now it's around your head. There. The things you put up with on Travel with Rick to That's get right. this shot, man. Look, he's awesome. Uh, yeah, but the, you know, the decorations down there are cool. This castle we mentioned. And right on this four-court stage, there's a pretty cool show. Very good, cool show. They do the uh, lighting of the, the castle. Right. And then uh, they have the uh, show, was it seven times a day, I think? I'm not sure. Yeah. You're the Disney by the numbers guy. I think it's guy. about gonna, seven times I'm, a day. I'm going to take your word for that. And of course, the fireworks are just awesome. Yeah. You know, right. Don't miss the fireworks. They're incredible. And all three of those, we're going to show you in, it, in, in their entirety during one of these 25 days. That bee just loves the that camera. camera. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Well, listen, uh, before Andrew gets stung and we've got more to show you, we're going to take you guys in the camera that way. There you go, guys. The eighth wonder of the world, the backside of the castle. Most photographed icon in the world, I think. Wow. Okay. There you, well, there you go. From the Disney by the Numbers guy for sure. And uh, I guess there's no twinkly ice lights on this side, right? No. 
no. But we do got some really cool, um, we're going to learn what these things are. They're garland, they're boughs, they're, yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're swaggly things, and they've got some really cool royal colors in them. We do have glass bulbs on those, right? Yep. And they just look cool. I mean, if you had a castle, wouldn't you do that to your castle? I'm certain, I would certainly do it to mine. I mean, for sure. That's the way a castle needs should to look. be decorated. Yeah, Absolutely. Right. That's the way it should look. That's the way it looks in all the brochures. Definitely at Christmas time, decorate your castle just like that on the back side. And light it up. And light it up. Good tip. All right, let's see what else we can find. All right, guys, so we made it all the way down Main Street. We made it over here to Liberty Square. We thought it fitting that we end outside of ye old Christmas shop. I mean, this is a Christmas video, right? And, uh, you know, this Christmas shop is here year-round. It is year-round, yeah. And it's stock filled with Christmas stuff. It definitely year is. Year-round. And, and it's got a sleigh out in front I'm of it. I'm on Santa's sleigh, I guess. Yeah. Year-round? No, year -round. you're not here year-round. I'm the not sleigh, here. The, the sleigh's here year-round. The sleigh's here year-round. Although round. I am here year-round. Yeah, Maybe yeah, not you, here year Yeah, you definitely are. I mean, to keep up with Disney by the numbers, he's got to be here year-round. You know, kind of like us and travel with Rick. You guys think we're here year-round, right, Andrew? Seems like we're here year-round. <laughs> not if you agree, Andrew. There we go. Awesome, awesome. Well, we did want to thank you for uh, taking time to walk around the Magic Kingdom with you, just show you with us and show you some of the things we love about Magic Kingdom, right, Tony? It is a great place. Oh, it's so cool. That castle, this shop, this sleigh, the decorations. I kind of like to have this out in front of my house. Mary, I want to make a Christmas party. Mickey's very merry Christmas party. We didn't even mention that here at Magic Kingdom. Yeah, we got a video on that too. So uh, check that out. And just remember, check out Tony's site, um, DisneyByTheNumbers.com, of course. And uh, you know we'll link all that up below. And of course, keep checking out our videos. If you missed one, just click on the tab up there. We've got them all archived for you. you can watch them all year long if you want to. And of course, be sure to check us out right back here tomorrow for another of our 25 days of Christmas on Travel with Rick. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, everybody. So long.